because 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 the city government's of Lansing, good because the city of Lansing doesn't have a crap ton of police. Oh my god, <laughs> I hate that. Yikes! All right. All right. Primary elections in Michigan. A lot of places around oh, the country okay, had I primaries. Know. I don't know. You don't want to talk about that? I don't care. That's it. Uh, I Did wanted... anything good happen? But they, no, for us, no, they the 911 surcharge too. passed. I was a little disappointed. For my little township, the police millage passed, which Yeah, good job support. on that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Police mm-hmm. and fire. Yep. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, let's see. My proposal is uh, I think Hillary is actually, I mean, God bless me. I think Trump is actually working for Hillary, that this was a plan that they hatched together a couple of years ago where they would both run for office and Trump would get the nomination and screw up so bad that it would guarantee that Hillary would get elected. Because that's the only that's the only reasoning I can think of of why Trump is crashing and burning and doing what he's doing every step of the way. When is he going to when is he going to start acting? So here's what I'm wondering. Okay. Is why this late in the game? Uh, how long has Trump been campaigning? Uh, I don't know, 6 months. Yeah. So how are you still falling into the trap that he's making mistakes and crashing and burning? What do you mean? I mean, what has he done recently that you think is a crash and burn? Well, I, he says the most ridiculous things. I think he always and he gets has. more support. Right. Well, the thing is that why, he he said something about why can't we use nukes and get rid of all of the uh, Middle Eastern countries? Yeah, he's and an idiot. And, stuff, and and and, and what happened? The, the parents said, of a of yeah. a dead veteran. Woo. Oh, uh, even you though mean Khan. Well, yeah, even, the dude's name is Khan. I know who it is. Come on, and I know what he is. But the point is, you shouldn't really it it. It's bad form to sit there and bad mouth the parents of a dead veteran. I don't care what the parent's philosophy is. It's bad. Now, I, you I, can ask I, I dis- this. I disagree you with you. You can ask this. You well, can ask I, this. I mean, it depends on what, you're, what you mean by bad mouth, but I don't think they're immune, especially when they take you know one of the biggest political stages that there is to say Democratic something completely ridiculous. Right. Like, have you read the Constitution? Right. Now, I was going to say, now, the bigger question is, why is the Khan family s- directing their anger at Trump and not at ISIS and that philosophy that killed their son? That's a better question. Why aren't they yeah. saying people that are carrying out these acts of atrocity and hey look i I, blaming them for their sons they have every right which by the way was something i mean trump kind of was like you have no right to say that i didn't read the constitution well trump has no right to say that he's made sacrifices for his country actually they both have the every right to say both of those things whatever they want okay no he he look really so anyway i think they're absolutely Absolutely fair game. I don't, I mean, you don't need to be a jerk about them losing their son. That's obviously tragic, but I don't think they're immune to, to anything. No, but is, should a candidate for the presidency of the United States go off on tangents like that? That's what he does. No. I know what Maybe. he does. I don't know. I, I guess I don't necessarily care if he goes off on right. tangents, but uh, also the thing about sacrifice... I don't think that he was seriously saying that he sacrificed as much as a soldier sacrifices or, or you know, any military person. Some that's veteran not what gave he him was, his purple that's heart. That's not what he was saying. That. And he took it. Yeah. What a jerk. I would have said, thanks, uh, I really appreciate your service. No, you earned this. I didn't. You keep your purple heart. Yeah. No, he took it and said, oh, look, it, I got a purple heart. Isn't that great? <laughs> what a douchebag. <laughs> well, I don't disagree with God. him. I'm just saying. And, uh. With all your advice, I expect you to win your your bid for the presidency. I I'm trying to get you elected. How's that working? That's out? hard enough. Yeah, I haven't lost. Not, not yet. All right. Uh, that's because it's, well. All right. You don't take any of my advice. And I haven't lost. No. I took some of your advice. You haven't won I have yet. Some, I have some really good looking yard signs. Yeah. Well, yeah. I just designed them, but. It's just letters out of they're just piece letters of and, but... and colors and stuff. You put them together, and <clears throat> and what do you get? I said you should walk down naked through Front Street in your town. Yeah, you haven't done that yet. 
That's true. You get publicity. Well, not during the day, anyway. You get, <laughs> you get publicity. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you want? You want to talk about seatbelt laws, which I was thinking about the other day when I saw my neighbors drive away and not buckle in their kids. Oh, no, don't call them out. Or ah, oh, Jeffrey. Or so sorry. <laughs> or do you want to talk about the the Gadsden uh, flag? Jeffrey Anderson at one oh one two three Main the, Street. I'm don't sorry that me Brian. Flag. Uh, no, I want to talk about seatbelt laws. I think they're great. Look, I think if you require everybody to wear a seatbelt mm-hmm. and everyone that rides a motorcycle to wear a helmet and a seatbelt, mm-hmm. uh, it's the it's, world would be a better place. Right. And I think absolutely we as a society have the right to force people to wear seatbelts. Okay, so here's my question. Okay. I think if you're 18 or old, older, uh huh, you shouldn't be required to wear a seatbelt. Okay. But if you're under 18, do you have, let's say, a, a one-year-old or two-year-old or three-year-old, do they have the rights or do they have the capacity to decide whether they should wear a seatbelt or not? Or should we compel parents to buckle minors up? Yeah. Um, so you get see where I'm going. No. I mean, to all of those. So no. it's okay if... if Somebody's child well, was killed no, in a look, car kinda. accident. I mean, that, that's, or does society, and and that means government, no, do they have a a duty to try to protect minor no, children in right. society? Because that's what seatbelt laws do, right? Well, they're I mean, not just completely used as a source of revenue. That's not what it is. No, I mean, I, come on. Look, there's no victim. I'm even not, if, even <sighs> if, even if your one year old is rolling around in the back of the car, if you don't crash and nobody's harmed, there's right. no victim. But when they do crash. And then there's like, something, right? We have they may be, we have neglect laws, we have child abuse the, laws, we have all sorts of other dead. things. And yeah, the child doesn't that. have any option to decide, hey, Daddy, I would love to be tied up in a seatbelt because that might save my life in a crash. They don't have that option. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Does the government have a duty to uh, infringe upon a parent's personal freedoms to say, listen, your child can't make a decision for themselves. You're obviously not going to take that responsibility to buckle them up. We're going to require that you do under penalty of law. No. And they sh- you shouldn't do that. So no. the, the children can be sacrificed. No, children freedom. wouldn't be sacrificed. Yeah, they're, Look, they're, they're we would have, every day. We would have all sorts of private organizations that would launch campaigns similar to like don't leave the, your medicine cabinet unlocked. Right. And that's not a problem, right? I mean, it's a small problem, but children are also not buckled and get hurt still. That same still with, happens. Same with uh, laws that might uh, make it illegal for people to leave their dogs in a car when it's hot out. No, I'm okay with that. See, that's where I was There's a going. victim there. Yeah, and there could be a victim with uh, Could children. be a victim. But no, there there's not a victim, a victim because you don't know if the dog's going to die or not. we got to wait until the dog dies before we can prosecute it. That is your philosophy. Yeah. That's what you're looking Fine. at. You're saying, all right, so you, you're saying there should be no law that says that we can, uh, a good Samaritan can bust the window and rescue your dog <laughs> from extreme heat in your car. And and not be prosecuted by the by the government because there's ordinances that allow that in some states. That's not the same thing that you asked. Yeah, it is. And so no, it isn't. Yeah, it is. No, it so, isn't. So you're it's saying, a different thing. So you're yes, saying, I should be allowed to break car windows. Right, and I'm saying you you shouldn't if you want to follow your no, that's not true. logical thinking to seatbelts. I'm saying the owner of the car. So I should be able be to bust in a uh, window of. A parent that has a child that's not buckled up. Only if they're driving down the road. No, I would hope they would be stopped. But but I guess you could chase them if you're really fast. Yeah. Ride your motorcycle, so your motorcycle with no helmet. That's a good helmet. question, though. So should we have laws that protect dogs but not children? Is that what no, you're saying? No, I never said that. Okay. Well, I'm asking you now. Should I we? said no. Okay. And then you changed the question. Okay, so. Do you like red or blue? You say red. <laughs> so green? So green? So, um. You're okay. Then there shouldn't be any laws that viol- uh, that uh, that makes it a crime for people to leave their dogs in their car or their children because that happens too. Is and there is there a, is there a crime? What? Is that is that a law anywhere? I don't. I've What's never that? seen that one. That, that you can't leave your child in the car. Yeah, I think there's. There, I, oh God, yes. I don't know. 
Yeah, there are. I don't know. Absolutely. I mean, we've talked a lot of times on the how on many, the show. And how, you many, how many times have, have been, you have been outraged when we talk about people being charged because they left their kid in how the car? Many, how many times have we seen where kids have been abducted by the police because they haven't been supervised? And that's or what they've you been think endangered? is okay. No, I never said if that If you don't was buckle okay. your kid in the back, the, the government can take them. No, 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 no. What, you get a ticket? No, no, no. What no, good no. does Wait, that do? You pay back money. Back up, Sammy, here. You pay some money listen, and everything's better. Listen, If you just I, give the government $150, I, I, all the children will be safe. For just $100 uh, a, day, a day, you can save the lives of countless children. That's not what I'm saying. I'm asking that for discussion. Yeah, and I discussed I'm it. Not you're gonna, absolutely wrong. I'm, you were saying it. But you're you gave saying your opinion a hundred times. You're saying I support this or that. You that's, do. That's you support true. it. No, I'm, Did, I'm just saying. You watched Teen Choice Awards the other day, right on Fox. You see Jessica Elba up there. No, she I, paraded I, the children out of their oh families. Are victims? I don't vic- watch children. Children's Teen. Ad- what? Listen, Jessica Elba. You know her. I do not know her. Google her. You'll you'll thank. I me. don't care. You will. Okay. Okay. She paraded out all the children. Not all of them, but a bunch of, of children world, and all people the children, that are... Were they all starving all with of distended them. Well, that's bellies what she's known for. But no, 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 no. They were victims. Flies around them. Their family members were victims of gun violence. I don't care. Go ahead. So you don't what? care about what? Okay. I'm, Whatever you want to do. Well, I'm saying... You're saying it's okay oh, for, for, a dick. for kids to die that aren't yeah, buckled up. Yeah, so there should be no seatbelt laws. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we know where you're at. Mm-hmm. I knew that would be a good good topic to talk about um we're coming up on a break you want i don't to, care you want me to let's bef- let's do this day in history before the break i don't care and that way uh we can devote time for skip to talk right so this is a good one on this day in history in 1892 now a lot of people today don't know what 1892 was but that was in the past where andrew and abby borden they were uh Elderly residents of Falls River, Massachusetts, right? They were found bludgeoned to death in their home, right? Lying in a pool of blood. Andrew's face had been nearly split in two. And the mother was found upstairs with her head smashed into pieces. Now, the Bordens were a middle-class family. They were considered somewhat wealthy. They lived with two unmarried daughters, Emma and Lizzie. Now, Lizzie was the only one home besides the housekeeper. And um, because of the sensational nature of this murder, the trial attracted a lot of attention. They didn't do any fingerprinting because it was fairly new at the time. They'd been doing it in Europe for a while, but, you know, we don't want to be bothered with the Europeans and stuff. So they didn't do any fingerprinting on the hatchet they found. But the prosecution tried to prove that Lizzie had burned a dress to the one she was wearing on the day of the murders and had purchased a small axe the day before. Now, Lizzie was a sweet-looking, good Christian woman, and the jury took only 90 minutes to decide that she could never commit such a heinous crime. She was now an orphaned heiress. You know, she's in, I don't know, 20s or 30s or something. Poor little orphan. The media continue to portray Lizzie as the perpetrator. Still, we don't know if uh, she was guilty or not. Remember the the rhyme? Lizzie Borden took an axe, gave her mother 40 wax. When she saw what she had done, she gave her father 41. Now, Lizzie lived the high life until her death in 1929. She was buried in the family plot next to her parents. <laughs> Isn't that nice? It is nice. So I think she did it, but who knows? She seemed to have a motive because she didn't really like her parents and they had a lot of money. So this day in history in 1892, Lizzie Borden took an ax and may have killed her parents. We don't know. All right, before we go to break, what do you want to do? Here's our trivia question. It's a, It's an easy one. Which American state, all right, so we're looking at a state. Which American state flag has the United Kingdom Union flag on it? Okay, that's it. I don't care. Lock it in. And rip the knob off. Red State Talk Radio. My 
My Parents Open Carry, a pro-gun kids book from White Feather Press. 